Reform Party leader Kenneth Jeratnam has been issued his sixth correction direction under the Protection from Online Falsehoods and Manipulation Act POFMA over comments he made on Friday, February 16 about the rental of black and white bungalows at Redoubt Road by two ministers. Second Minister for Law Edwin Tong had instructed the POFMA order to be issued to Mr Jeratnam for his article on the Rice Bowl Singapore website as well as his posts on Facebook, X and LinkedIn. Correction directions were also issued to Gutsy Asia for an article on its website and its Facebook post as well as the online Citizen Asia for its Facebook post. Mr Jeratnam claimed that the Singapore Land Authority SLA had charged ministers K. Shanmugam and Vivian Bolakrishnan rent at below market value for 26 and 31 Redoubt Road, respectively, and had given them preferential tenancy terms. This claim was also republished by Gutsy Asia and the online Citizen Asia. This is untrue, said an article on the government's Factually website. The Factually website said that Mr. Jeratnam's article and posts blaringly omit facts and that he has a track record of publishing false statements regarding the rentals of the Redoubt Road properties by the ministers. From July to November last year, he was issued five correction directions for comments about the Redoubt Road rentals. His latest article shows that he chooses to persist in making false statements on the matter. Even though he clearly knows the true facts, said the Factually article. The government takes a serious view of Mr. Jeratnam's conduct and will consider if any further action should be taken against him. It added that the rentals have been independently and extensively investigated by the Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau CPIB and Senior Minister Teo Chi Hin. CPIB found no evidence that the ministers were given favourable rental rates due to their positions. And the issue was covered in Parliament on July 3, 2023. In his article on his website The Rice Bowl Singapore, Mr. Jeratnam compared the rental of 41 Malcolm Road with the two Redoubt Road properties. According to SLA's website, 41 Malcolm Road, which has an estimated gross floor area of 5,279 square feet, drew four monthly rental bids in February of between Ten thousand five hundred Singapore dollars, seven US dollars, seven eighty and twenty two thousand two hundred and forty two Singapore dollars. The factually article said that SLA had rented out the twenty six and thirty one Redoubt Road in two thousand eighteen and two thousand nineteen, respectively, at fair market value and not below market valuation. The monthly rent for twenty six Redoubt Road was twenty six thousand five hundred Singapore dollars while the monthly rent for 31 Redoubt Road was 19,000 Singapore dollars. At the time, 26 and 31 Redoubt Road had been vacant for years. The market conditions were weak and generally on a downward trajectory. It added. When the properties were renewed three years later, they were also at market rent. A revaluation of the rentals was carried out by professional valuers to pack the rentals to the prevailing market rate. The monthly rent for 26 Redoubt Road was maintained at 26,500 Singapore dollars, while the monthly rent for 31 Redoubt Road was increased to 20,000 Singapore dollars. Regarding 26 Redoubt Road, Mr. Shanmugam had recused himself from the rental transaction and no matter had been raised by SLA to the Ministry of Law during the entire rental process. The professional valuer also did not know the identity of the prospective tenant at the time, according to the Factually article. Mr. Jeratnam makes an inappropriate and erroneous comparison for the rentals of 26 and 31 Redoubt Road. With the recent rental bids, for 41 Malcolm Road. It is misleading for Mr. Jeratnam to suggest that the properties are directly comparable without making any attempt to refer to the established facts relating to the rentals of 26 and 31 Redoubt Road. 
or to account for the fact that property market conditions do not remain static, according to the article. Market conditions today are stronger than they were when the Redoubt Road properties were initially rented out and subsequently renewed. The tenancies for the Redoubt Road properties were also kept within the 3 plus 3 plus 3 tenancy period. The ministers had incurred substantial costs to improve the state properties, the benefit of which will accrue to the state when the tenancies eventually come to an end. Despite knowing these facts, Mr. Jeratnam states that the tenancy durations for the two Redoubt Road properties were exceptionally generous compared with the duration for 41 Malcolm Road. Mr. Jeratnam, Gutsy Asia, and the Online Citizen Asia have posted correction notices as required by the POFMA order stating that the said articles or posts contain a false statement of fact.